Gazans have had little choice but to embrace creativity. They live under an Israeli blockade that bars many imports, but high tech is still alive and well in the enclave. A team of engineers has managed to make a robot, and they've done it for a reason that's unique to where they live. Of course, the idea of this robot came initially from our intention to help our people in times of war. It's difficult for civil defense teams to remove explosives and move forward. To protect them from danger, we made this robot. The robot removes suspicious objects and boots out fires. Explosive ordnance disposal teams say there are 290 unexploded bombs in Gaza. 18 pose risks to civilian lives. We need certain equipment such as towing equipment. We need robots or equipment that allows us to work remotely because the risk of dealing with these explosives can reach 100%. Our crews don't have any of this equipment, even though some of it is very simple. For example, a helmet, a shield, or a metal detector. Simple equipment that the outside world uses for a hobby. Making the robot was not easy due to Israel's blockade. Its developers had to use parts from old devices. We need such things to save time and protect our staff from danger. The most important thing we have in civil defense is the human element. People are the soul of our operations, and this innovation reduces the risk of losing lives. The team spent five months developing the project. Its members say their robot would work better if they had proper equipment and funding. A shaky ceasefire is holding in Gaza, but Israeli bombs dropped during the war still threaten the lives of the survivors. The enclave's engineers say that with more support, they could do more to help save lives in times of peace. Nizar Sadawi, TRT World, Gaza.